and uh, I want to move it now to <laughs> a different I'm sorry topic. I did, but that's okay. No, 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 but it's interesting you mentioned Trudeau because I want to move it to Julian Fantino, Fantino who a, a lot of this country won't know uh, unless they live in Ontario. He was a former chief, uh, police chief in London, Toronto, head of the provincial police, the OPP. Mm -hmm. He's running in one of the by-elections on Monday night for the federal conservatives in the Toronto ri area riding called Vaughan. Of course, if you live in Vaughan, you don't want to say, <laughs> say you got anything to do with Toronto, but north of Toronto in Vaughan. Um, and he's apparently doing quite well, uh, most of the polls suggest. However, he's not turning up at any of the formal public debates. And this prompted our good friend Don Martin to write this in the, in the National Post. Uh, and it's interesting that uh, Don would say something like this. What's going on in that riding is a democratic travesty with the former Ontario Police Commissioner refusing to appear in public, campaigning by stealth to avoid any tongue-tripping accidents so he can coast a victory on his tough cop reputation. Why was I talking about Trudeau? But I haven't seen a campaign like this since the Boy in the Bubble campaign in 1980 <laughs> that Trudeau ran, where he never said anything anywhere and didn't do a debate. Uh, but is there anything like wrong with this, what he's doing? Well, there was Pierre Trudeau that used to say that MPs were nobodies once they were, I don't know how many feet, yeah, kilometers many feet. from Parliament Hill. <laughs> but now you have prospective MPs who agreed to transform themselves into nobodies to get into Parliament, <laughs> which is fascinating. It, Mr. Fantino is not the first Conservative candidate to campaign in that manner, and some of them have won. The advantage is that once they get to the House of Commons, Stephen Harper brought them there. They can't claim that they did. But I find it rather fascinating that you would want to go in the federal arena and agree as you are running to put duct tape over your mouth. <laughs> and part of that's because he's ahead, uh, all the polls show, and this is standard political playbook. When you're ahead, you minimize the opportunities to make errors, you, you keep your, your opponent for the day. As, and with, as a ghost. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it's not uh, desirable, it's nothing that uh, one would applaud, uh, but it is pretty, it's hardly unusual. Uh, and I think the best way, I mean, that's something where the, the, the public, the voters, can weigh in on that. If they find the, the person has just simply been obtuse, then they can punish them. Alan. Well, it, it is unusual because he's not a national leader. He's a local candidate running in a, in a by-election. By-elections in the Taurus, they have very, very low turnout. They have very, very low turnout because voters don't pay much attention. Now they've got an issue to pay attention to. This is a riding that has been liberal for 22 years by virtue of making himself the issue by virtue of not campaigning, he gives a motivation to those historic liberal voters who right now aren't that happy, but maybe now have a whole different focus of their uh, of their attention. More importantly, of the three by-elections that are going on, this is the one that is going to turn who wins and who doesn't win. Everyone now expects, because he is such a high-profile candidate, that the Conservatives will win that. So if he does, it's a ho-hum, no big deal. If he loses it, however, a completely different spin will be on all the by-election results on the 29th. Rex Peter, is desperate just one, to just get one in comment. On a police chief, a man of courage, should not be the man that sneaks into Parliament. End of story. So he should be out there. Absolutely. Talking, debating. Absolutely. You do not, by duplicity or hiding, recommend yourself to the Parliament. And he's a police chief. Courage is the first virtue, says Aristotle. Show it in your campaign. What's the